sincerely, I humbled to speak in front of you, uh, in front of young people who will change the future. I want to thank sincerely uh, Mrs. Govri Ishwaran and Mr. Shiv Hamka for providing me this opportunity. You know, there is a tricky question during job interview. How many of you have already had job interviews? Not so many. Well, you will create working places, definitely, as entrepreneurs. Um, so there is a tricky question uh, with which historical figure you would like to meet if you have a chance. Mozart, Beethoven, Mahatma Gandhi. You know, when I got this question, I all the time answered with a future leader, with, with a future, uh, someone who will change the future. Someone with, with who, who will be able to do that. So for me, it's a special moment. Uh, I was asked to speak today about youth movements that appeared uh, not only with the youth, but, in, but, the, but the movement that were initiated by young people who were able to erase the borders between their countries and to fight for something that is equally important for, for all of them. As for my profile, uh, I'm, I'm working for a university, um, and um, I do lots of work in youth empowerment. So uh, starting with uh, the motivation of my work, it is all about glo global citizenship. That was the notion that appeared several times yesterday. So what is actually global citizenship? Uh, it is the way, basically the way, how we, despite of differences, how, how we, despite of lots of things that separate us, work for the common prosperity, for, for the common peaceful future. So. This is engaging, this is about engaging human rights, sustainability in, in the form of educational programs, and to engage young people through non-formal education activities. Uh, before starting talking about uh, the, the networks that I have created for that, I should mention one name uh, whose work is uh, really acknowledged nowadays in Europe, but the name is not um, so widely pronounced. So Mr. Frank Biancari was uh, the first vision created one European organization called Asia Europe that comprised not the countries but cities. It allowed fantastic, to, to do fantastic things actually to work with young people from confronting countries, from the confronting sites. So now the network comprises around 40,000 young people from more than 200 cities. Uh, Mr. Frank Biancari uh, made the final influence to adopt the Erasmus program that allows now young people from, from Europe to study abroad a lot. And he was the one who uh, predicted the uh, rise of BRICS countries and who has lobbied all the time the uh, enhancement of relationship of European Union with emerging BRICS countries. So the first network of young leaders about what I will tell you today is exactly the Eurobrics uh, Young Leaders Platform. I would ask the uh, respectable um, organizing committee to put the first video to, to show how the network was founded. Hello, it is with great interest that I'm applying to be a part of the Brazilian delegation to the first Eurobrics Young Leaders Summit. 
Hello, my name is Edward Chesnakov. I am 27 years old. I am from Moscow, Russia. I am Ritmina Chokhavoti. I am from India and I have a dream. Mulreni, which means hello in my language. Hello everybody, I'm Bill from Peking University. And we, as Europeans, as citizens of the world, we need to welcome BRICS in the international scene and not to lose any more time. My name is Andrzej Bayak, I'm from Hungary. I live in Düsseldorf, Germany. My name is Gerard and I was born in Barcelona 24 years ago. My name is Flo Kuypers, I'm 27 and I'm from Utrecht. Hello everyone, I'm Edme Poté, I'm French and I'm 23. Hello, my name is Louise Rutten, I'm 21 years old and I'm from Utrecht in the Netherlands. My name is Sergei. Hi, my name is My name is Oscar de Jonge. It's Matthijs from the Netherlands. My name is Michael Gorski. Hello, I'm Rohan Sancha. Greetings and welcome to my room. And I want to be a Euro BRICS leader in Helsinki in June. Hope to see you in Helsinki. I have a dream, a big one, a dream that one day good people will live in a global society. Young people are not only the future, we are the key of what will happen in the future. So from a rainy Belgium I send you kisses and uh, hopefully we will see each other soon. Bye! So that was how it was done. So the young people who uh, wanted collaboration, despite of political differences, despite of uh, current problems that the countries had, decided to establish the, the platform on, on their behalf. We did the first summit in Finland this, this June on the place where the Helsinki Treaty was, the, the Helsinki Agreement was signed, uh, where we have attracted 102, uh, 20 delegates from all BRICS countries and uh, the representative from European Union. Uh, so the topics that, that were discussed, innovation, sustainability, peace, mobility, and uh, uh, modernity. Um, so what was the most tricky thing of, of, of organizing a platform? That's uh, the thing I, I every time asked about. The thing is that after any project, the, uh, the motivation of uh, participants is going down when it's finished. So after one month, after two months, the motivation is going drastically down. So we were able to establish a network structure uh, with clear goals uh, where that contained lots of small, tiny uh, teams working on each particular area. So we have a journal, Aerobricks journal, we, we have a um, uh, team who, who is working on, on notes videos, uh, the team is working on sites. So motivation that brought forward the development of platform. So it's, it's uh, the uh, funds is not the key problem as usual by um, creating some uh, uh, these structures. Um, so our main objective is to make these summits every time before fixed political meetings. Simply because um, our goal is to create a peer pressure on world leaders, telling them uh, our understanding on the uh, sustainable development goals, how we propose to change the world, how we propose to uh, fight poverty. And uh, I'm happy to announce you that the, that the next summit is planned already to take part in India before the next uh, BRICS summit. So since India is chairing BRICS in 2016. So we expect, uh, again, around uh, 200 delegates that will take part in the meeting. So um, lots of partners already agreed to join this event. Um, and the second example of the Young Leaders Platform that I also wanted to, to, to share with you, and it's exactly the, uh, it's an example of how the platform makes changes is the uh, music as a common language for peace building platform. So this is a network of folk musicians from conflict regions. 
that uh, we have brought to Georgia, to a country where there are lots of um, uh, conflicts on, on, on the national basis, um, where they have made um, multicultural teams and uh, after three days went to refugee camps to reduce the stress at the local communities. So you, you just see now laughing people, but uh, three, four days before that, they couldn't even speak to, to each other because of uh, obvious political disagreements and, and because of the fact that they had no chance of a direct contact. Um, um, yeah, so um, if you see, the, if you see the, the region, it is quite um, complicated to, to do anything because of closed borders. So we have realized our vision of uh, borderless Caucasus uh, during initiating of this Young Leaders Platform that were able to uh, come to the country and to work with the, with the target group of young people. So I will just show you, I will take maybe 30 more seconds to show you the impact on the faces of people with whom we work. So uh, the most vulnerable groups, of course, are children. And you can see how the, the, the volunteers attracting them in, in the series of uh, workshops. So here you see the intercultural band comprising of uh, uh, participants from the opposing sides, Armenian and Azerbaijan playing for them. So this is uh, me with the Georgian pianist playing also for the, for the local people. Um, and, and you just see one picture after another, you, you see how uh, faces are changing. So um, for, from, the, from the stress and uh, concerned face, you, you see how they started to laugh. So um, that was the, the initiative made last year. And uh, th this is again the thing that we repeat because of the motivation of the platform, of the people who who are comprised in frames of the platform. So the, the project impacts, we have uh, uh, approached more than 100 people. We were filmed, of course, in the, in the local TV, and there was a flash mob. And the most and the last thing I want to show you is, is long-term impact of working with young people. So after the project, uh, there was a photo posted on Facebook, and of course, the friends of of uh, project members started to, to say, look, you are standing next to someone who is from the opposite side. And they managed to overcome this. So they managed to write that, look, guys, you are, you're not right. We, we have our own, uh, common goals. We have our own um, common initiative that, that we need to make. So um, yeah, thank you very much for, for attention. If the slides will, would be later available, I put here several links for enhancing global education. Thank you very much. Tgelf leading the change.